Food's at the heart of everything we do. It builds community, it builds social cohesion. Some of the biggest challenges is, for me is around the use of the resources we have and how we can use them more efficiently, but use them locally and develop ways to produce food on a kind of more hyper-local basis rather than on a global footprint. My name's Andy Gregson. I'm the director and founder of Green Lab. Green Lab is an open innovation lab. We basically allow people to create innovative solutions to some of the biggest problems we face on this planet around food, waste and water. So we provide access to a co-working space, a mech space, a bio lab, a grow space. And we also run education programs for kids. I guess the reason Green Lab exists, it's out of my own curiosity into the natural world and how we can discover more about the world around us in terms of growing food, using different resources more efficiently. It's about you know, making change for good. At the lab, we try and apply that kind of philosophy using technology, robotics, aquaculture, algae, hydroponics. I mean, in terms of residents within Green Lab, over the past 18 months, we've had EntoCycle. They're a black soldier fly startup. They basically rear insects for feed. So you feed the insects organic matter, such as beer grains, banana peelings, potato peelings, coffee. The insects eat it the larvae, you then take the larvae and feed it to fish. So you're not feeding fish, sardines or anchovies, which is a which is a not sustainable model. And we have currently algae cuticles. They're based in the wet lab downstairs and they look at extracting chemicals from growing live algae. One of the benefits of being in the space is you can collaborate with different startups. So we have some lighting engineers who help build lights for the Black Soldier Fly project. The Black Soldier Fly guys will give me feed to feed my fish to test the protein content of the insects they're producing. So all of these projects cross-relate and interrelate. So it's important for me to make sure that the balance of individuals in the space reflect, I guess, the philosophy and the outlook we're trying to achieve as a community. I'm Kent Lapino and I'm one of the people here at Green Lab. I do research in among others, light compositions for plants. For maximum uh, growth, plants with like minimum of input, um, very low power consumption and so on. My name is Anna Jaramillo. I'm one of the residents at Green Lab. I'm working on a project which is called Grow Wild UK. It's a community project on behalf of a Green Lab and Kew Gardens. The idea of Grow Wild UK is to bring the community together around native species of wildflowers, plants and fungi through food. So we try to give them to try different things that we have prepared here. Food of the future, I think look at alternative sources of protein. So insects, for example, you know, crickets, mealworms, look at alternative forms of food sources and make them palatable. My view of Agritech is that it's a sustainable way of producing more food with fewer resources in a sustainable way using technology. I'm not a farmer, I'm not a botanist, but my stubbornness has driven me to understand a lot more about you know, the needs of a food system and how we can augment that with technology as possibly solutions. I'm kind of at the autumn time in my life. I want to make a change and I think I want to leave a legacy for others to kind of pick up and carry that baton.